This TV can elevate any home interior. And yes, I am pointing at the picture frame because that's the TV. It's called the frame and it definitely elevated my mid-century space. But what about the other design styles? Starting off with the maximalist space, we're going to replace one of the 20 frame artworks on this wall with the frame TV. And now the gallery wall doubles as an entertainment center. Moving on to this minimalist space that has framed art and a television, which seems a little bit excessive for a minimalist. So if we put those two things together, what do we get? the frame TV, and one less thing to clean every week. For industrial spaces, the one thing we're not going to elevate is the TV. We're keeping it grounded on a studio stand so those brick walls can stay exposed. So the thing about contemporary spaces is that they're usually full of gadgets, but you can't really tell because there's no exposed wires and everything is very integrated, and I feel like the frame TV would take it to the next level. Next up, we have a traditional space with an ordinary television, which isn't very historically accurate, I get it, but if you replace it with the frame TV, the vibes go from mid to medieval real quick. Artwork is really important for brutalism because a lot of people go heavy on the brutal and forget the ism, you know, and it ends up looking like a bunker and let's just say I'm not looking for shelter, okay? So I know that transitional design fans love to hang their televisions above their fireplaces and it's always a questionable choice, but if it's a frame TV, it's the correct choice.